Welcome to the Vector Interactive lesson on Images. Images in Vector could be a little bit different from other programs you've used in the past. In Vector, every image is actually an image background on a vector path. You can see this here. You've got an image up top here with a background image, and you've got a rectangle down here with a color background. Now we've kind of tricked you because these are actually the same thing. You'll notice that if I change this background to image, it's in fact the exact same item. The only difference being that a background image was applied. Now the reason we do this in Vector is because it allows you to manipulate an image in certain ways that you can't in other programs. Let's take a look at a few examples. If you double click this vector path, you'll be able to actually select the background image and drag it inside the vector path. I'll put a border on the vector path to make that a little bit easier to see. You'll notice that you have a vector path here and a background image here that has been dragged down and to the right. You can drag that background image anywhere you want inside of that path. Now you can also do the opposite. You can edit the vector path around the image. So if you double click, you'll notice that you can drag and edit all of the points around of the vector path, just like any other vector path, and use that to effectively crop the image, but without losing any of the image's data. To upload an image or upload an SVG, you can either use this upload button in the toolbar on the left side, which will let you choose an image, or you can drag and drop an image or an SVG onto your workspace. What this will do, of course, is insert a vector path with an image background. If you'd like to change which image you have in the background after you've uploaded it, you can do that by clicking here and then choosing another image which will be uploaded and then inserted into the same place as a new background image on that same path. That's all for now. We hope you enjoy and you'll get a chance to try this all for yourself in the interactive lesson.